Hefner leaving behind a legacy that is being felt right here in Phoenix. ABC 15's Aldo Vasquez spoke to a former playmate about the side of the Playboy founder many of us will never know. He called me over and he said, who are you? And I jokingly said, who are you? And he started laughing. He being Hugh Hefner. The year was 2000 and the place was the Playboy Mansion. Little did Jennifer Archuleta know that this was the moment that would change her life. The following year, she was a centerfold for Playboy magazine and would become a good friend to Hugh Hefner. And he was always very humble and just down to earth. These are like just all the places. A decade of memories now neatly arranged in scrapbooks, which Archuleta flips through remembering the man she says helped save her life. I kind of had a troubled past and Hef was there to kind of pick me up and um, ensure that I was okay. Whether loved or hated, admired or envied, Archuleta says Hef just wanted to be good and called him a caring man who genuinely took interest in the lives of the people he met. There was also a personal side of Hef where he would pick up the phone and he would call you and ask how you are. And you'll come to find that his legacy extends well into the Phoenix area. Now many people will remember Hugh Hefner for his bunnies and for the magazine, but not a lot of people know that there was once a Playboy club here in Phoenix, and it was right here on this balcony, just right off of Central Avenue. Just the building and a little tribute to its past remains. The rest is lost to history. In the end, Archuleta says given the fame, the money, and all the girls, there was one thing Hef always wanted, to be loved. Um, I just hope that he found that love and that he had that or felt that because I always felt like that was something he was always talking about. In Phoenix, Aldo Vasquez, ABC 15, Arizona.